I'm out here at my buddy Rob's place. And I'm going to try another test flight of what will hopefully become an FPV plane. I've got uh, cameras facing front and rear and uh, SJ4000 on my head. Changes since last time. Did away with the pink styrofoam body. Built a uh, tubular fuselage uh, a la Experimental Airlines. Still got the KFM3 wing, still got the same tail section. Did away with the rudder because I rarely fly with rudder anyway. Um, it's still there, I can enable it later if I want to. I uh, changed out the motor for, it's still a 1100 kV swinging a 9x6 prop, but this is a Turnigy 2836, should be more capable of, uh, of uh, turning that prop properly. So, I still, uh, it should have enough power to get in here. I've, uh, you can see that I've got some weight here on the back. This is to approximate the weight of my FPV gear when I do fly this FPV. So, for our first flight, obviously, I'm not going to mount my FPV gear on until I know it flies. So, now this thing is popping up. I don't like that. Never like that. Maybe I'll just see if I can tuck it under a little bit. So let's just give it a give it a launch and see. Well, let's check out CG first. I checked this at home, so it should still be good. Just slightly forward of center on the wing. Hopefully that's good enough. Well, it flies. It's no power demon though. Like it's a real slow flyer. I got a pretty much full throttle here. Now it's climbing. Which means I've got a little tail heavy, but it is flying pretty stably. Now this is with the weight of the FPV gear on it, or the approximate weight. Now when I let off the controls, it has a tendency to climb just a touch, so I'll need a, just a little trim adjustment there for that part of it. Not sure with this power plant that I'd want to fly it in much wind. See if I can stay below the uh, sun line, so I can barely see. I did bring my FPV gear with me. But I told myself I'm not going to try it till this weekend. Now this is flying no input at all. So at that speed, with no input, it's flying perfectly straight. The wing trit tip dihedral is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's uh, self-correcting it. So it flies nice and straight. And I'm actually able to adjust altitude based on the prop, which probably means that there's a little bit of a design problem with where my prop is placed 
or the wing. But I can live with it. I can live with it, uh, especially in a no-wind situation. That means I can prop down a little bit, fly perfectly level it. Oh, you hear that? I'm having the motor cut in and out. I don't like that. Why would that be? Oh, uh, see that flap? It's up above the camera. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to bring it in again and I'm going to launch it again. Uh, a little hard on the landing there, especially without a uh, prop saver. I'm going to launch it again with the camera on this, this wing. Or on that side of the wing. Let's just move that over a touch. And I'm going to... I'm not going to crash it. Make sure that there's no liquid on either of those. I'm going to throw it up again, but I'm just, I just moved the camera sideways because this centerpiece is popping up and I want to be able to get decent video. Oh, mud. Get any mud on this? No, get any mud on that? No. See how we are at low altitude. Do a couple flybys. Yeah, it's definitely not going to climb out quickly. It uh, has almost no vertical ability.
First things first. All right, so end of flight synopsis here. Um, flew well, flew very slow. Um, if I want to fly faster, I'm going to need a faster motor on this, or I'm going to be need to swing a slightly larger prop. But uh, overall, I'm pleased, especially in low wind conditions. It's uh, pretty much an ideal platform for doing some nice stable FPV. So hopefully I'll get a wind-free day this weekend. I actually brought my FPV gear with me today but I told myself I'm not gonna do this on the first day I want to go back check the video reflect on some things uh, see it, it, it's a little tail heavy in design of course I can always add uh, add more weight to the nose that's that's easy to do I wonder no I don't have enough battery left on this battery to do that right now to try it so all right let's make some video out of this